Back in 2008, Transworld Sport was fortunate enough to spend time with Serbian tennis ace Novak Djokovic when he was just 21 years of age. Djokovic has gone on to win 12 Grand Slam singles titles and he became the first Serbian to reach the ATP World No. 1 ranking. Looking to follow in Novak's footsteps is the current junior world number one. And to find out more about him, we headed to the IMG Academy in the American state of Florida. Introducing Miomir Kekmanovic, set to become the next Serbian tennis star. Born in Belgrade, the 17-year-old took up the sport age six and moved to the academy in 2013. Boy, line it up, line it up. He's just got top 100 skills, I think forehand, backhand, you know, his serve is getting there, so his skill set, you know, he has some really, really top level skill sets that are improving. He needs to keep improving those, but, you know, he's got a huge forehand, great backhand with disguise, ability to come to the net, ability to have a great serve and disguise his serve, so second serve. So he's developing all those skills and, uh, you know, I think it'll serve him well at the, as a pro. At the end of the 2015 season, Miamir, or Misha as he likes to be known, won the prestigious Orange Bowl tournament. He became the first IMG Academy player to win the title since Jim Courier in 1987. And last September, the teenager finished runner-up in the boys' singles final at the US Open. It's awesome experience and just to be at the same place as everybody else, to interact with all the pros and just to see how they play, how they behave around it. Um, and of course to make the final and then to play on the, one of the bigger courts with challenges, of course, that was the great experience. And I think that it helped me a little to get a, bit, a little bit more confidence and then just to play better tennis after. Following his US Open exploits, Misha won the top tier Abierto Juvenil title in Mexico. Then, on home turf at the IMG Academy, he played in the historic Eddie Herr event. Misha only dropped one set on his way to becoming champion. Legendary tennis coach and founder of the Academy, Nick Bollettieri, was on hand to give out the prizes. What's important is that Mir Mir put everything on the line. And that's when you judge if you have somebody special. Can they execute? under pressure and he did it extremely well you know there are a lot of athletes a lot of people in business in their life they can do certain things but can they do it at the right time and Miramir seems to have that quality to do it at the right time his victory in the Eddie Herr tournament saw Misha secure the number one junior world ranking this left him as the top seed and the man to beat when he travelled to Miami to defend his Orange Bowl title. In the final, he faced China's Yi Bing Wu and Misha took the first set, 6-3. The young Serb was even more impressive in the second set, winning 6-1. I was a little bit nervous at the beginning. It was uh, very windy, so it was a lot tougher conditions. But I think I had an advantage there since here it's always windy. So I got used to it. But um, I think it's after a couple of games, I just started playing my game. Just I was just more aggressive, and I think I, it was easier a lot after that. I called it. I called it. I knew it. <laughs> Misha became the first male to win back-to-back -back Orange Bowl titles since Billy Martin in 1974. Not too many people can do that. Remember, most people, when they, they do or perform one time, the question is, can they do it again? And he did that. And by the way, he had a lot of pressure on his shoulders. To be number one in the world, he had to win. he's not on the tennis court, Misha likes to relax by playing golf with his friends who are also budding tennis professionals at the academy. Uh, 
For these juniors, one of the benefits of training at the academy is the access to hit with the professional tennis players. Japan's world number five, Kei Nishikori, is a regular on the practice courts. Director of the academy's tennis program is Rowan Gertzka. What's really good is that if Kei comes in, he asks, hey, can I hit with Misha? And I think that's already a great sign that when the pros, when they come on, on campus, they're like, okay, is Misha around? Because they know he brings a real deal for them. You know, Max Murney, who was, just saw him in the locker room, said, hey, hey, you know, when are you going to stop playing those Mickey Mouse tournaments and, and come out on the pro tour? So the guys are waiting for him on the tour, and then he'll have to earn it. But he's, I think, ready to take on that, that ranking board next. Following his Orange Bowl title, Misha decided it was time to leave the junior tour behind and step up to the senior circuit. This will involve playing at the lower tier Futures events before progressing to the challenger level. His aim for 2017 is to finish the year ranked inside the ATP's top 300, but those at the academy are optimistic of him going even higher. First of all, you want to, he wants to break in the top 100. Can you get top 50? I can see that. And then after that, it's, it's open to see how hard he's going to work. Where he, does his game keep improving because there's young guys coming up. But he's put himself in a great position to be going in that direction. I say that he has the potential to be a top-ranked professional. Now, to be number one and two, certain things have to work out right. But he has the ability to certainly make a very good living and if he stays healthy and physically fit, he can be an outstanding professional. Since we filmed with Mir Mir, he entered his first Futures tournament as a senior. He came through four rounds of qualifying and went all the way to claim the title, dropping just one set across the nine matches. This helped boost his ranking over 200 places as he closes in on the top 600. Although the 17-year-old is optimistic about his career, he's making the most of each moment. It means a lot because it's giving me something a lot of people don't have, the opportunity to travel the world, meet some amazing people, play tennis almost everywhere with some pros, with the top guys, with pretty much everybody. So I think, I think it was, I'm really lucky to have this and I really hope that I can keep on doing it. In Novak Djokovic, Serbia has one of the all-time tennis greats. Will fellow Serb Miomir Kekmanovic become a big star of the sport too?